Hello, everyone. Welcome to News Now, the Belmont Journal's daily update on what's going on in the community of Belmont. I'm your host, Roger Colton. I have with me today Nava Nivogel, who is Director of Belmont's Council on Aging, and Lieutenant Kristen Daly with the Belmont Police Department. There's a new program in Belmont for seniors. Nava, uh, do you want to uh, tell us what that program is? Sure. So uh, the program that we were launching is the uh, permit parking program, um, whereby seniors, um, adults of, over the age of 65 and Belmont residents um, qualify for a parking permit, which allows them to park at any municipal lot in Belmont and the metered uh, parking on Leonard Street for uh, two hours at a time. And the um, uh, price for this is $5 from now until the end of this calendar year. Um, the, and that's the way the program works. Um, the procedure for getting a permit would be to call our main line, 617-993-2970, leave a message stating your name, phone number, and that you're interested in the parking permit. And our administrative assistant who handles the program will call back with an appointment time. Now, uh, it, it does need to be an in-person appointment. Uh, we have these appointments taking place outside the building. Um, it's a contactless transaction whereby the senior needs to come to the appointment with their car registration um, and their license. Th those are the two forms of documentation that are required to bring. Um, our staff member, whoever it might be, who's doing that particular appointment will then take down the information and then issue uh, a permit on the spot upon payment, of course, of the $5. Um, and that's pretty much it. Very straightforward. Uh, Lieutenant Daly, the, the Belmont Police, uh, uh, must be involved with this uh, uh, in some way. Can you tell us uh, how the uh, Belmont Police Department fits in? Well, actually, it was um, Sergeant Paul Garabedian who is in charge of our Traffic and Records Department who actually thought of the idea because he had seen it being used in Watertown. So um, he brought it to us and got a lot of information and uh, Nava took it and ran with it. And so... Our parking clerks, basically for our part, you know, the Council on Aging will be issuing the uh, permits. They will have a running list, which they'll give to us. And what we'll be doing is we're gonna be educating our parking clerks so they know what the, the permit looks like. And so they know that this person is entitled to the, the two hours, you know, again, be it on Leonard Street or any of the municipal lots. So they don't have to fiddle with the parking meters. And when, uh, when we say the parking permit, what, what, is, what is that? Is it a sticker, a placard, a, something you it, put on your plate? This is exactly what it is. It's on um, cardstock paper. That's exactly what it, what it looks like. And it, it, um, the, uh, uh, the, per, the person who's been issued it puts it on the dashboard um, and so that it's easy for uh, the police to spot. Okay. And, and that's when, exactly what it looks like. When the permit is issued, is it specific to the person, to the family, to the car? It uh, is to did the that person, question make sense? Uh, yes. But the thing is, the plate number will be on the card. So it really has to be uh, issued to the person who owns the car, the senior who owns the car. And, and that's the best way to track all this. 
and and my question was it is not something to be shared within a family no. i don't no. sign up for one and then lend it to my spouse when she uh, drives her car no it's, it's assigned to each permit is assigned to a specific car right Okay, is there a uh, an agenda uh, behind this, or when I say an agenda, what what are you hoping to accomplish? Oh, a number of things. So, um, Kristen can can mention the issues that um, uh, Sergeant Garabedian uh, observed, and and I, I'll take it after she does. Well, I think, you know, we more first came up with this idea during the winter time with seeing the issues with many of the seniors, you know, where the location of the meters and with the snow and having a difficult time getting to the parking meters and, you know, just even just sometimes the, the distance, I mean, especially for some seniors who are, let's say you're going into CVS just to pick up your prescription. Well, by the time you, because you, everyone, even because you're entitled to a half an hour free parking in the meters, but you still have to enter in your license plate number. Because what happens is, is that our parking clerks have a computerized, a little handheld, uh, basically computer, and they can see and they'll look at the plates and they'll know, okay, this person entered it in, they have their first half an hour and it times it all. So that was just getting a little difficult for the seniors, you know, because you may not you may not have a handicap placard, but it still could be a lot to to walk through the snow and the ice or just anything. So we thought this could help them and make it easier for them because many times they are just doing quick errands. You know, they're not really most of the time they're not even spending the half an hour that is technically free. They're going, you know, we actually just had just the other day a person in their mid-80s who unfortunately didn't understand the parking um, meter and got a parking ticket. And she was only there for 15 minutes. So we obviously helped her and, you know, were able to take care of that sure. ticket for her. And, but our parking uh, our records clerk explained to her that this is going to be something that we're going to have soon. And she was quite excited about it, you know, just for the ease. Yeah. And I think that there's also a recognition that a lot of seniors have not been really using Belmont Center as much parking as we all know, parking spots have been reduced and a lot of seniors have been reticent to go into the center to shop. And we're hoping that this will make it just a little bit easier for them. Yeah. In all the locations like Waverly Square and Cushing's, you know, yeah. Square, wherever there's, you know, metered right. parking that this will hopefully, you know, make them maybe go in and frequent some of the businesses and easier for yes. them to shop. And, and to pick up on something I'm hearing you say, I believe, uh, I want to make clear what this is not. This is uh, a permit to for metered parking, but this doesn't allow someone to, for example, park for six hours on Concord Street because you've got a permit. This is simply to avoid the parking fees uh, for metered parking. Correct. And, and, and for the and for the lots, you know, uh, yes. Um, so it's two hours at a time. I mean, you know, if a senior is, you know, Belmont Center for two hours, but then wants to go to Cushing Square and park there, obviously that's another that's another separate two hours. Okay, it, has this been launched, or is it uh, uh, is it in preparation for a future launch date? Oh, okay, so um, it has been launched. Uh, the publicity has been out there and we're taking names for appointments. Our appointments start on Monday. So we've got appointments already set up through Thursday. Um, uh, but we've, you know, we have appointments available uh, past Thursday, every single day of the week for a few hours a day. So people, anybody who's interested in this will get an appointment within a week. And again, they should contact the Beach Street Center. Yes, and it, you know, they need to leave a, a message because uh, since we are close to the public, we don't have the staffing of our front desk and of, of the phones all day long, the way we did when we were open. We don't have volunteers coming to the center, but the call will be returned within 
less than a business day. That's our commitment to everybody. So just to make clear what I heard, just heard, I think, is when sure. you call the Beach Street Center, don't be upset if you get a message or where if you need to leave a message because nobody mm -hmm. is uh, working due to COVID-19, you'll get a call back. Mm -hmm. That, that's correct within right within less than one business day. Um, I, I also want to address uh, some people have had some questions that might as well um, answer them in public um, as to how the price came about the five dollars for the permit, um, why it is that um, the permit is issued, um, or expires at the end of December, and what? How did this? How did that process come about? Essentially, um, as Lieutenant Daly said, we we modeled our program after Watertown. It's been very successful there, but obviously, um, the Council on Aging Board reviewed that program and um, you know thought how to adapt it. Um, so the recommendations came from the Council on Aging Board regarding pricing and so forth and the parameters, the procedures and so forth. Uh, then we presented it to the select board and it's the select board who um, uh, basically came up with the price, the $5, um, accepted all the parameters the Council on Aging Board uh, board um, recommended, um, but did say that the, it is a pilot program. So that's why the permit is issued um, through December. Um, we very much think it's going to be successful um, and that it's going to be a great benefit to seniors and the town, uh, but the select board will review the program at that point and um, see about making this permanent. Okay, one last brief question. Uh, uh, one would assume that this parking permit would need to be renewed on an annual basis, even if once it becomes a permanent program. Yeah. Okay. Correct. Thank you very much. Uh, we've been speaking with Lieutenant Kristen Daly and Nava Nivogel, uh, wh who is the Director of Belmont's Council on Aging, about the new uh, aging parking permit program for the town of Belmont. You've been watching News Now, the Belmont Journal's daily update on what's going on in the community of Belmont. Thanks for watching. I'm your host, Roger Colton. I'll talk with you again next time.